Hey everyone, Alec from High Touch here. Today I want to show you how AI decisioning is helping marketing teams use AI to deliver truly personalized marketing experiences at a beyond human scale. Let's dive into it. It's not a secret that changing customer behavior is hard. As marketers, we know the outcomes we want, like driving repeat purchases or loyalty program signups, but actually influencing those behaviors through communications is anything but easy. Even with modern MarTech, personalization today still doesn't scale. Most brands are relying on calendars and rule-based automation and A-B testing, but with every new level of personalization, the workload only increases. Personalization shouldn't have to mean more rules, more time, or more resources. This is where we see a huge opportunity for AI to take the heavy lifting of personalization off of marketing teams. And that's why we built AI Decisioning. Instead of manually building journeys for countless customer segments, AI decisioning deploys AI agents and uses reinforcement learning to automate and optimize personalization at scale without adding more work for marketing teams. The basic idea is that marketers should provide inputs into the system, things like goals or content or channels, and set guardrails for AI to operate within. AI is then able to go and determine the optimal experience for every customer, learning about what works and what doesn't to identify the best possible experience for each of your many users. And most importantly, as it does, you need to have a system that provides full visibility into why every decision is being made. So AI decisioning exposes all of these insights back to you so you can understand and learn from every single touch point. You can think of AI decisioning as a brain across all your marketing channels. It integrates with your existing tech stack, reading from your data warehouse, and optimizing engagement across email, SMS, push, in-app, and on-site personalization. And because it learns from every interaction, it just keeps getting better over time. Let's dive into the product to see how. We first define a flow. A flow is unique to a use case. Here, let's say that we're a retailer trying to drive cross-sell conversions. Jumping into our cross-sell flow, you'll see we first set up an audience as well as a whole doc group to ensure that we can measure lift. Next, we define our actions. Actions are experiences that AI decisioning can select from and personalize. In this case, we have three emails that live within our ESP, however, AI decisioning can handle many more and select cross-channel experiences as well. You can see here that AI decisioning is not able to only select the action itself, but also personalize elements within it, like product recommendations. Another important step is to set up our outcomes or what AI decisioning should optimize for and away from. Here you can see we have purchased as our best possible event as well as some other good signals, while we've also incorporated unsubscribe being a bad event that AI decisioning should optimize away from. You always stay in control with AI decisioning. Marketers set the guardrails on the content, the offers, and the messaging, ensuring that AI decisioning is always making decisions within your own guidelines. Here you can see if we only wanted this specific action to be eligible for people who are not in the state of Texas, we can set these rules up. Let's say there's an offer that's only eligible for a certain amount of time, we can additionally add that logic as well. From day one, we've also built AI decisioning with observability in mind. The inspector feature provides full transparency so you know exactly what's happening and why. In this example, I can see that we're planning to send this specific email, and more importantly, I get insight into the attributes driving these decisions. Last and certainly not least, we've focused on building the capabilities needed to unlock deep insights into performance. Here I can see the test versus the holdout in this specific flow and how it's performing. You can even go a click deeper, understanding the various combinations of every decision that the system's making, like every combination of message and subject line, how they're performing, and even add in more splits like demographics as well. These insights don't just improve your marketing, they help shape your entire business strategy. Now there's a lot more to AI decisioning that we'd love to share with you. Request a demo today and let's explore how AI decisioning can work for your team.